Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Shruti from Jixius and today we are going to discuss about how to lock or unlock an object in Exxon. So in this video we will cover topics like how objects get locked or what is the significance of locking a particular object, how it is going to help us. Thereafter we will see how to unlock such objects. So let's go to the Exxon UI. So currently I am in the data under the data set facets. Suppose I wanted to edit this particular data set FMO. So by the time I am editing this object, uh, suppose there is one another user logged into Exxon and at the same time he also wanted to edit this data set FMO. I might wanted to change the FMO's name to test1 and he might wanted to change the name to test2 and we both submit our changes at the same time. Then it will be very difficult to choose which option or which name it has to set for this particular data set or it may lead to inconsistencies. So, so to avoid such scenarios there is a concept of locks. So as soon as any user tries to edit we can see a lock coming here. So this object is currently locked by John admin. So whoever user or which user will click on this edit option first the object is being logged by that, uh, that particular user. Now, if any other user will log into the Exxon and will try to edit the FMO, he will get a warning message or he will get an error message saying that someone else might be editing this particular object. In that case, he will get to know that for this particular time being, someone else is editing and when he will finish, then he can proceed further to change it again. So now, I have I wanted to change it I have done my changes suppose I just wanted to change it to that. then I can just save and close and after I close it anyone can access this particular object FMO but suppose if I don't want others to access this object I can just create this temporary lock as the permanent lock now even if I will close it and come out of the edit view even then other users can't open this particular object though super admins can open it but other users can't now let's see how to delete a lock for deleting the locks we might need to go to the admin panel so Let's go to the admin panel. From here, we can just go to operational management and then manage logs. Then from here, I can see the log test one. Because we have put this log on the data set FMO which I have renamed afterwards to test1. That's why it is showing that the log has been assigned on this particular data set test1. Now I just want to remove this permanent log. So I have just removed it. Now any user can access this particular data set test1. So that's all about the logs. If you have any further queries or any suggestions, please contact us by using the links that are being displayed on the screen. Thank you for watching the video.